Tenbase T1S opens up the world of Ethernet with standardized software stacks, proven security measures and an unbeatable flexibility to applications that are on CAN or CANFD today. Have you asked yourself how system performance would look like if you move one or several CAN or CANFD clusters to one 10 base T1S bus? To answer this and other questions related to 10 base T1S system design, T1S Sim, K2L's 10 base T1S simulation software can assist you. To minimize definition efforts, T1S Sim allows you to import your AutoSAR XML files to give you access to your CAN and CANFD message catalogs. You can sort the defined clusters alphabetically and display the issues and messages that are defined in a cluster. After you have decided which clusters you want to move to a 10 base T1S bus, you can click on the Add Autosar Cluster button in the ribbon. The CAN message catalog is automatically transferred into an Ethernet catalog. If you want to change, for example, the cycle time of a frame or the length, you can edit the corresponding transmission. The Network tab at the bottom of the T1S SIM window gives you access to general simulation settings, like 10 base T1S counter values and the bus bandwidth. After the mapping of the CAN and CANFD clusters to 10 base T1S is done, the Nodes tab at the bottom contains the nodes on the bus and a default assignment of 10 base T1S node IDs. The assignment can easily be changed with the help of drop-down menus. After the cluster mapping and general settings are done, we can start the actual simulation of the 10 base T1S bus. In the simulation tab on the bottom right, we can select the simulation time, for example 2000 milliseconds, and then click the run button in the ribbon. After the simulation is complete, the simulation window shows for the ECUs on the bus, a visualization of the bus traffic over time and a selection of statistics like used bandwidth, sand bytes and jitter. In order to facilitate a more detailed analysis, you can zoom into the visualization of the bus traffic. The red lines for the different ECUs indicate how many Ethernet frames are waiting to be sent out at a given point in time. It is worth to mention that the visualization of the bus traffic and the log of the messages on the right hand side are synchronized, which makes it very convenient to navigate in both directions. If you now want to learn more about T1S SIM, please visit our website at www.k2l.tools.